Yo, 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 this is Sol, also known as Espiel Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt, the artist team called Grunt, and this is Pokemon Masters EX. Guys, a lot of you have been asking me to do tier lists in the past, and my response was always to not do those videos because, you know, tier lists can be quite subjective. By that, I mean, you know, it's more opinion rather than facts. And people might agree, people might disagree. And I prefer to present facts rather than my opinions. But you guys kept asking. And yeah, a couple of days ago, I asked you guys on YouTube in my community tab. What do you feel about me making a tier list? Should I make a tier list or not? And you know what? Out of 443 people, 90% of you said yes. So, I almost forgot, then yesterday someone reminded me, and now I present to you my very first tier list in my channel. In my channel. So, um, this is gonna contain my opinion, some little facts somewhere there, here and there. And to make things interesting, I'm gonna rank these sync pairs according to a couple of aspects it's not just gonna be who's the best here who's the worst here i'm gonna put like a couple of different um you know categories as you can see like how good are their outfits how good are they for free to play players how good are them individually how good are they separately or something and I hope you guys appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't. And for those who are new to my channel, it's your hardest team called Grand Sol. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it. That's the intro. I don't know what else to say except enjoy and, you know, opinions. More opinions, okay? If you want facts, watch my gem count video. Watch my sync pair analysis video. But these are mostly my opinions on everything. And with that said, enjoy! Let's start off with something fun and rank these sync pairs by their outfits. Now, um, as you might know, again, this is very subjective. Your style might not match my style, but I think I'm entitled to my own opinion as well. And as far as you might know, I've been raging or, you know, talking about how I love Volkner's outfit for the longest time. In fact, let us take a look at their outfits in closer detail right now. As you can see over here, um, Volkner has this sleeveless whatchamacallit Japanese kimono something reminds me of um he, oh my goodness what's his name he's sweet he's no he's sweet he's saggy he's saggy from bleach and uh, you know a, a slight longer sleeve version on the other side it's pretty stylish and it it's something that I would wear so you're definitely going to the top of the list for me here. Um, meanwhile, I'm also I've been talking about Cynthia's outfit as well, and I I've been saying that Cynthia actually scares me in this outfit. In fact, if the game developers, if the objective of the game developers is to develop a scary-looking Cynthia, an evil alternate dimension Cynthia, where she's evil and not motherly and all well they did a good job on that in fact she looks like a vampire she looks like a nun in this outfit she reminds me of the game nun massacre <laughs> which gives me i haven't played the game but i've watched other youtubers play the game twitch streamers play the game and it's actually such a nightmare and this outfit of cynthia reminds me of nightmares but if that's the intention of the developers, well, they did a good job on that. Meanwhile, Sabrina, actually Volker and Sabrina, has these 
something like a martial artist traditional outfit thing. In fact, it's kind of like a medieval, you know, Japanese medieval warriors. I forgot the exact term for that one. They're pretty cool with those designs. Meanwhile, we have Lucas, who is at a default outfit. So he's the only one in this list that has his default outfit. So I don't think it would be fair to compare Lucas together with these. But definitely if we're talking about alternate outfits or outfit designs, I think Lucas will go down to the bottom. And then there's Lillian Lance, who has a traditional Johto style. Johto style. Johto. Kyoto. Kanto Johto. Oh my goodness. What's the Johto counterpart of Japan? Uh, Kyoto. Kyoto. Okay, Kyoto. Kyoto like outfits, very traditional. Meanwhile, I think uh, Sabrina and. Um, Volkner here have the modern versions of these two and they work very well as well and I really love Lily and uh, Lance's outfit when they first came out but compared to the others here now it's gonna be tough to discuss about this it's not as easy as the holiday outfits were I'm a fan of this outfit, I'm not a fan of this outfit. In fact, I'm a fan of all these outfits. So, if I were to rate these, again, I would put Volkner on top, I would put Lucas at the bottom just because Lucas is in his default outfit. Meanwhile, Renegade Cynthia over here, again, this made such a huge impact for me that I'll put you at number two because Evil looking, evil looking. And then here comes the remaining three. This is tough. This is honestly tough to decide. Um, let's put all of you first at number four because I don't honestly know how to do this. Um, when they first came out, I said that Lance, I, I was a fan of Lance's outfit a little bit more than Lily's. So Lily, I will put you there. But Sabrina versus Lance, who do I like better? Now when first Lance first came out, people were saying like his hands too tiny, it's covered here, and his outfit looks way too large. But I think it's just normal because you know he's wearing an outer coat or whatever you wanna call that. But in terms of coolness factor, in terms of coolness factor. I think just because I love original Lance's outfit, I will put Sabrina a little bit higher than Lance in this regard. In this regard. Okay, so I think that's about it for the five star variant of the outfit. So Volkner first because sleeveless vest. Second is Cynthia with her evil aura. Third is gonna be Sabrina because I think it's modern and cool. Uh, fourth is gonna be Lance because it's cool but at the same time it's kind of makes him fat as people say. And then Lily because I like Lance's outfit a little bit better than Lily but honestly they could tie in there or reverse their positions for all I care. And then Lucas, because he has a default outfit, I'm putting him last there. Now, those were the five star outfits. What about the six star EX outfits? How do these transform into these? And how good are the transformations? Well, one sync pair strikes or pops out immediately, in my opinion, and that is again. Renegade Cynthia. In fact, the, the transformation is light and dark, night and day, demon to angel thing. In fact, it reminds me of a Digimon called Lucemon or Lucemon, who has an evil form and an angelic form, I guess. Or, you know, Sephiroth, one-winged angel, something. So, 
yeah, it's it's a it's a night and day transformation. It made yeah such a huge impact. I'm putting you number one, and then the others. Lily, when she first came out, I immediately had to six star ex her because she reminds me so much of my relatives. As you might know, I'm Chinese. Chinese love red because it gives good luck and something but I'm tired of seeing the color red in fact I'll be seeing the color red very soon again for Chinese New Year and my birthday because people wear red on their for people's birthday parties so Lily unfortunately I don't think you hold a very huge place in my heart in terms of outfit choices I know, I know Volkner is wearing a shade of red, but Volkner's outfit is cool, and I'm keeping you somewhere high, I think, somewhere high, but we also have Lance, and Lance's outfit transformation is quite striking. So that dark gray slash midnight blue transforming into white gold reminds me of something black and blue and white and gold or something <laughs> this transformation is very very appealing to my eye and if we are active in my channel i recently made lance into six star ex just because of his outfit and just because i want more seasonal strikers to have six star ex meanwhile sabrina very accurate in terms of Chingling transformation. Chingling transfor uh, Chingling colors are, you know, yellow and something. And I think this is very accurate to the colors. Um, Lucas, the Alga colors. In fact, you know, they did not shaft Lucas in terms of colors. I really like this color combination. It works in my eyes and... Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. What about his watch? Does his watch change color? Yes, it does. So these colors are nice. It's not like Cygnus Suit Red where red transforms into black. It's more like Cygnus Suit Blue where his blue outfit transforms into white or something like that. And Cygnus Suit Blue's outfit transformation is pretty good. In fact, it's hard for me to look at Cygna Suit Blue in his 5-star outfit. I always visualize him in his 6-star EX outfit. Lucas reminds me something like that. So Lucas, I think you are gonna land quite high in my list as I put you here. Or number 3. I'll see. Then, as I said, <laughs> Renegade Cynthia goes up because of how striking, strikingly different she looks, 5 star and 6 star EX. And then Lily, because I'm tired of seeing the color red, will go there. This is the problem. How do I rate this, this, and this? Now, I love Volkner's outfit, but in terms of how good the 6 star EX transformation is, I think out of the three, you go last, and out of the two of you, they could honestly be tied. And although Sabrina is very accurate to Chingling colors, I think I will put you here, or I would reverse the two of you and do something like this. Maybe. Maybe it could it could go some other way, but in my opinion I'll rank this like this and let me know in the comment section as well How you would rank these sync pairs in terms of outfits? So again with the six star or with the five star variation I would rank it like this and with a six star EX variation I would rank it like this in my opinion. Let me know Okay guys, you know this one. In terms of getting 5 stars, you know Master Fair has a 12% chance of getting a 5 star sync there. Poke Fairs have a 10% chance of getting a 5 star sync there. 
Meanwhile, Spotlight Scouts, Seasonal Scouts, all have a 7% chance of getting a 5-star St. Pierre. So that's how they're tied up. But getting the featured unit is a completely different story. For this one, you only have a 1% chance of getting Renegade Cynthia. Meanwhile, a 2% chance of getting anyone else. 2% chance of getting these guys. But remember that Lance and Lily are gonna be in a combined banner. So 2% chance of getting um, Volkner, Sabrina, Lucas, 1.5% chance of getting either Lance or Lily. Or you can look at it from another perspective. There's a 3% chance of getting either of the two. So it's either 2% chance of getting New Year Volkner, New Year Sabrina, or Lucas. Or a 3% chance of getting either New Year Lance or New Year Lily. Again, this is either you want to look at it from a 3% chance or a 1.5% chance like this one. But I think 3% chance is better and this is how I would rate how they're obtainable in Sync Pair Scout. Hey, this is probably what you've been waiting for. How worthy are they to scout as a free to play sync or as a free to play player? I'll be citing some uh, other sync pairs that came out recently and how good these sync pairs are compared to them slightly. So let's begin with Cynthia. As you might know, Cynthia is a ghost type tech sync pair. As a 1 out of 5 Cynthia, because you know, I'll talk about 1 out of 5 in this case, 1 out of 5 Cynthia, keep in mind that Anniversary Lily just came out recently. Anniversary Lily came out on August 28th, ended on September 30, quite recent, and her trainer move allows her to raise your attack stat, special attack stat, and critical hit rate immediately. Um, attack and special attack plus 4, critical hit rate maxed, and uh, defense and special defense minus 1. Then she has Ghost Wish which um you know sets up a ghost zone which is like a terrain that powers up ghost moves this can pair up with anniversary lily quite well and power up anniversary lily as well or morty if you have morty or fall morty or some other ghost types it will power up those ghost type attacks or you know if you have mewtwo shadow ball this also works um, she also has a master passive called Sino Flag Bearer, which powers up everyone's physical and special attack moves, excluding sync moves, and increases everyone's physical and special defense, excluding the enemy's sync move damage on you. And then, every single time you attack an opponent, because of Sundering 9, she gets to lower the opponent's defense or special defense or both of them. And then, she's not yet done. Every single time you use um, Shadow Sneak? No, not Shadow Sneak. Shadow Force on the opponent. You basically avoid the damage. You disappear from sight. If the opponent targets you, you will not receive any damage. And then, because of Super Shadow, you will get a super effective up next and hit the enemy with a super effective up next attack. Or, if you time it a little bit late intentionally and time it exactly before the enemy uses a sync move on you, you will get that super effective up next. The enemy will interrupt you, you will disappear from, you will appear again in your field of play, you will get hit by the sync move. But you have a super effective up next so that if you want to save this super effective up next for your sync move, that's going to have a super effective up next multiplier. And then with Ghost Zone, you already have a built-in multiplier for that with Ghost Zone powers up your sync move 
as well as Gold Zone itself will power up your Sync move as well. So it's kind of like a double multiplier because of just Gold Zone over there. And yeah, she is quite powerful. She's quite powerful. She supports New Year Lily or Anniversary Lily. And uh, is it worthy to scout for her? Take note that she's a texting pair. And uh, you can only hit one opponent, but you can hit that opponent. Very strong damage. Now, before I rank this, I want to talk about the others first because it's honestly going to be very hard to rank this. But you know what? I'll, I'll put you temporarily at number two because. I'm having a hard time thinking right now. So, next, we have Volkner. People like to compare Volkner with N. N... N... N came out... The last time he appeared was April 22 to May 20. So, a lot of you new players might not have N. And, you know... We had Classic Alessa who just came out and is unfortunately done already. Yesterday was the last day. We had Marnie who came out on September 21, ended on October 5. As you might know, Volkner has a very, very high special attack. He has Discharge which hits everyone. And then he has X special attack which you can use two times to raise your special attack stat to plus 4. And then his trainer move, it's electric, raises your speed stat plus 2, accuracy plus 1, and critical hit rate plus 1. Um, you can use this twice, so you can raise your speed stat plus 4, accuracy plus 2, critical hit rate plus 2. Again, this is just 1 out of 5. But, you know, he has a passive skill called Super Duper 9. Which basically, every alternating damage on the enemy that's super effective. One is gonna have a super effective up next. One is not, got, not gonna have a super effective up next. One is gonna have a super effective up next. And so on and so forth. And then every single time you do this as well, there's a 30% chance that your next move is gonna be free. Free move gauge for the next move because of Super Freebie 2. Then after you use your first sync move, you're gonna have electric terrain in the field. Electric terrain powers up your sync moves, powers your attack moves, but I don't think you can extend your sync move, your electric terrain to land to help you with your next sync move. So it's gonna happen like this. And again, you cannot partner Volkner up with, Vol with the original Volkner. As a one out of five sync pair, you know, um, you cannot raise or you cannot maximize your critical hit rate. So as a solo sync pair, you cannot have 100% critical hit rate. You need to have another critical hit rate support in order to have a 100% critical, you know, critical chance here. And I think at 3 out of 5, he gets softened up 1. But we're not talking about 3 out of 5 stats here. We're talking about 1 out of 5. And you know, out of the bunch, I if you guys don't know how important critical hit rate is, I it's easy to probably think about it. Every single sync pair with critical hit rate up or can raise their own critical hit rate is gonna be high on the list. Because right now in master mode, to get you know an easy 100 points, you get physical damage reduction, you get special damage reduction. And in order to bypass this, you have to land a critical hit on the enemy. So if you cannot have a 100% critical hit rate, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to rank you a little bit lower than Cynthia. Also, you need a bit of setup here. You need to use two trainer moves, or rather two It's Electric, two X Special Attack all. Meanwhile, um, Renegade Cynthia, you only need to use one trainer move to maximize your critical hit rate, to increase your attack stat and special attack stat plus 4. So that's that. I love Volkner though and he is the sync pair that I'm most excited about in this update. But unfortunately, 
Volkner has to be ranked lower than Cynthia because of this regard. Now, let's talk about Sabrina or New Year Sabrina. New Year Sabrina is a very, very nice support unit with X special attack all plus. Uh, which, you know, gives everyone special attack boost two times so you can raise everyone's special attack to plus four. She has condition shield which prevents you from getting paralyzed, poisoned, burned, or frozen. And then her trainer move gives you 40% recovery and an endure status. Now at 1 out of 5, you do not get an MP refresh with her trainer move, but you get an MP refresh with X special attack all. Which means you can raise everyone's special attack stat to max plus 6. And then she has a passive skill called Team Smart Command. So every single time you use a trainer move, you have a 30% chance of giving everyone special moves up next. Everyone in your field of play, special moves up next. Special moves up next increases your special attack damage plus 40% damage for everyone. 30% chance though. And you know, you're limited to four trainer moves unless there's an MP refresh. There's, you know, calm, calm your mind, was it? two times for that and then there is X special attack all but again you get X special attack all MP refresh at 1 out of 5 so every single time you use them you have a 30% chance of giving everyone special attack special moves up next not only that but you have sharp teamwork too as well this time it's not a trainer move it's your attack you only have confusion and uh, Condition Shield. Wait. No, 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 no. Sorry. Um, Condition Shield is also a trainer move. So uh, you have six times, rather, of giving everyone uh, super special moves up next. You have two Condition Shields. You have two Calm Your Mind or something. And you have two X Special Attacks. So you have six chances of getting a 30% up special moves up next to everyone by using your trainer moves. And then Sharp Teamwork 2, every single time you use Confusion, it's not going to be strong damage because your special attack stat is quite low. But you have a 30% chance of raising everyone's critical hit rate. Everyone's critical hit rate, 30% chance of raising it up with one Confusion. And Confusion is a one move gauge attack. And I think that's pretty good because you're helping everyone maximize their critical hit rate. But at the same time, 30% is quite low. And uh, yes, she also has Aggravation 4, which makes your Confusion have a very, very high percent chance of making the opponent confused. But at the same time, it won't deal much damage. You do not have stop hitting yourself, so the opponent might not hit themselves often there. But, you know, you get to raise everyone's special moves up next, and then you get to raise everyone's critical hit rate. And also, um, you know, don't forget that you can recover everyone. 40% recovery, as well as give everyone an endure status. At 1 out of 5, this is not exactly that great compared to 3 out of 5. But the chance of, if you're lacking a nice support sync pair, Sabrina would be awesome. But I think out of the bunch right now, I'll put Sabrina slightly below Volkner because of... I don't know. It could be either here or here. In fact, let me make them tied first. Let me tie them up first. Lucas! Let's talk about Lucas first. Lucas at the start of the battle has Grand Entry 4, instantly special attack plus 4. No need to use any trainer move for this, immediately special attack plus 4. He gets X speed plus. You can use it twice and you know raise your speed stat to maximum with just 2 X speed plus. 
his trainer move, it's our time. I think it's something called like that. Raises your special attack plus two, accuracy plus one, and maximizes your critical hit rate. Immediately, that crit rate max is a good thing with just one trainer move. And then you have Dragon Wish, which sets the field to Dragon Zone, powers up Dragon type moves. And then you have Commanded 3D9, which gives you a free move next after you use a trainer move instantly. Free move next after trainer move. So, how many trainer moves you have? You have It's Our Time, you have uh, X Speed Plus. So, the way I can do this is probably It's Our Time. Then his attack, Roar of Time, or Dragon Zone sets up the field. Probably I'll use, probably I'll use, um, you know, uh, what should I call it? I'll use Roar of Time first because you know you're limited to the length of your Dragon Zone, and then XP Plus. Then probably Roar of Time, another XP Plus, Dragon Zone. Then X speed plus, then probably a sync move or something like that. So, um, yeah, free move next, and then once he uses a sync move, you get adrenaline one, which lowers your sync move countdown by one instantly. And then at one out of five, also you get sand shelter, which protects you from sandstorm damage. Not too keen on this unless there's gonna be a nice sync pair that will pair up well with this guy and then we have it's our time mp refresh and x speed plus mp refresh at one out of five they're worthless because you get to maximize your speed stat already without an mp refresh you get to maximize your special attack stat immediately but you get to raise your accuracy but keep in mind every single mp refresh you get will grant you a free move next because of commanded freebie 9. So that's that. But as a free to play player, how good is this guy? He's a poke fair. Sorry, my things messed up. He's a poke fair. And uh, as you might know, we have the Sino. Uh, villain event coming and you know Sino villain event we will get Cyrus free 6 star EX Cyrus as you know is a very very strong sync pair Critastrophe Critical Strike 9 if you get you know Critical Strike 2 you get Critical Strike 11 how good is Lucas you have to compare him this way if you want to power up Cyrus, you can do so with Dragon Zone. But if you want to, uh, you know, if you want to save gems, Cyrus can do the job for you. So, depends how you would look at this. Again, we will get Cyrus for free. And we will not be getting this for free. But he will be staying for more than a month, so you can probably rank this up to number one or down to number two, depending on how you would do this. Because you know, anniversary Lily is also non-free to play, but Palkia is free to play, and you can swap this like this and like this, depending on how you look at the situation. But in terms of a free-to-play perspective, I would rank. Lucas at number two because of Palkia being free to play and six star EX is coming very soon. We go to Lance. <laughs> Lance is an interesting thing. Um, we had Lance is a very, very strong flying type striker in terms of hyper beam. As you might know, we have the shift, flying shift in the game, which transforms a normal type hyper beam into a flying type hyper beam. We also have bounce, it's a quick move. Hyper beam is a 90% accuracy attack. Bounce is an 85% accuracy attack. But with the use of his trainer move, 
get to increase your accuracy stat plus one. Also has a uh, superior might the trainer move also raises or increases, recovers your move gauge. Plus three slots, if you want to call it that way. Three move gauges. And uh, raises your attack stat and special attack stat plus one. As you might know, um, Bounce is a physical attack. Hyper Beam is a special attack. His sync move is a physical attack. So, Superior Might raises both stats plus one as well as your accuracy stat. But, receiving 33% recoil damage. So every single time you raise your stat plus one, you receive recoil damage. And you have potion, but you do not have potion master healer. You do not have potion MP refresh. Which makes lands not too good in that regard. And you do not get to raise your critical hit rate as well in one out of five. You get uh, Power Flux 5, which the fuller your move gauge is, the stronger Lance will be. This happens, this is technically good with Hyper Beam. So the fuller your move gauge is, the stronger your Hyper Beam gonna be. And you have Adrenaline 1, which basically after you use your Sync move, you get to lower your Sync move countdown minus 1. But at 1 out of 5, you also get Bounce MP Refresh 1. 20% chance of bringing back 1 MP of Bounce because that's a quick move. You can only use it like 3 times. As well as a Superior Might MP Refresh 2. Which has a 30% chance of bringing back Superior Might. Which raises your attack stat, special attack stat plus 1. Accuracy stat plus 1. 33% recall damage. Every single time you use it, you receive damage. And you only increase your stats plus one. It's not plus two. That is a huge deal when you receive recoil damage. And then, without a critical hit rate support, you will always be hitting the op opponent with half damage only if you use Hyper Beam, if you have physical and special damage reduction. And then, you know, there are many other flying types in the game that are Spotlight Scouts. I mean, Anniversary Steven came out on September 1 to 30. He is honestly the... If you want to compare a uh, fair comparison, Lance is not a Sync Nuker, but his Hyper Beam hits hard. Anniversary Steven is the same thing. His Dragon Ascent hits very hard, but... Anniversary Steven gets to raise his critical hit rate maxed with his trainer move. And so because of that, and because of how common flying types are, we have Blue and Pidgeot, we have Nate. You know, I think they can raise their critical hit rate on their own. You have a lot more other flying types that it's very hard for me to honestly recommend lands out of the bunch. And so I'm gonna have to put Lance at number 6, the bottom of the list here for this one. Okay, time for New Year Lily, guys. Um, New Year Lily, very easy to recommend to people. Um, I've been using New Year Lily for the longest time. Um, you know, she has a Lola Lang sign, which is basically Sabrina, New Year Sabrina's condition shield, plus evasive buffs. So you get the evasive, you get everyone gets evasiveness plus 2, plus you get a condition shield, which prevents you from getting poisoned, paralyzed, um, frozen, or, you know, burned. And, uh, you know, you ha also have dire hit all plus, which can raise everyone's critical hit rate plus 2. With Sabrina, you have to kind of set it up by attacking the opponent, 30% chance of bringing the uh, critical hit rate buff, something like that. And um, what's missing about Lily is that she does not get or get the, the whatchamacallit, the special moves up next. But then, once she uses a sync move, you get team sync regen. Everyone will get a regen effect. 
And then, you know, you can also heal by using Leech Life. It's a physical um, attack. You damage the opponent and then you recover HP. Her attack stats, I think, are somewhere there. Not too bad as a support unit. And she also has one more attack or one more trainer move, which is Move Gauge Refresh. It's kind of worthless. But then, you know, it's kind of... You know, pretty balancing pair. She also has Q Cutter. So if the opponent misses their attack on you, you get a 20% chance of reducing your sync move countdown by one. And then Team Out Muscle 1, if the opponent misses, everyone in your team gets attack plus one. Well, 20% chance of giving everyone attack plus one. Now, what's good about her is that at one out of five, you get the best thing from her, which is Alola Lang Sign MP Refresh. So if you are able to get this uh, MP Refresh, you can maximize everyone's evasiveness to plus six. You also get an MP Refresh with Dark Hit All Plus, and you also get Wide Awake at one out of five. So, you know, for free-to-play players who just aim for one out of five, it's very, very easy to recommend New Year Lily and um, yeah um, right now the newer support units most a lot of them have um, synchro healing um, Sabrina does not have synchro healing New Year Lily does not have synchro healing but then she gets team sync region as the healing factor of New Year Lily as then Sabrina gets, um, you know, her trainer move as uh, something like Potion. And if I would rank her, I would rank her pretty high. In fact, it's gonna be difficult to rank these two. In shorter battles, rather, they, they both excel in long battles with New Year Lily being able to regen everyone. And Sabrina being able to, you know, keep bringing the healing factor, keep bringing the endure factor on. In terms of uh, long, long, long battles, I think Sabrina excels against New Year Lily. But in shorter battles, which is not exactly short, but somewhere long as well, New Year Lily excels. In fact... It's gonna be super hard for me to differentiate the two. Both of them are good in their own way. So I think I would rank them tied up. Now is the, the question now I have is, is Sabrina as good as Volkner or not? Sabrina, is, is, is he as good as Volkner or not? I'm not sure because Sabrina takes a while before she gets to buff everyone. She needs a 30% chance, 30% chance to raise everyone's accuracy, raise everyone's critical hit rate. In fact, if I were to rank Sabrina up together with Volkner, I would also rank Lily up with Volkner. So it's kind of something like this. Or this, in my opinion. Now, again, if you disagree, let me know your thoughts. But for now, I think I would rank them this way. Um, you know, Renegade Cynthia up there because you know, uh, as a free-to-play player, you either have New Year or Anniversary Lily, or you do not have Anniversary Lily. If you have Anniversary Lily, you can get Renegade Cynthia to power up Anniversary Lily by using Ghost Wish. And then every single time you attack using um, Renegade Cynthia, you get to lower the opponent's attack or defense or special defense or both. Lucas, I'm ranking him at number two because as a free-to-play sing as a free-to-play player, you get Cyrus. And Cyrus is free. And Cyrus is a strike sync pair that can be 6 star EX. And striker, you know, Cyrus is strong. Which means you can totally skip Lucas if you want because you have Cyrus. And in terms of, you know, uh, 
free to play ghost types you also have new two with shadow ball and then if you look at the um or rather no 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 no, no wrong sorry Shadow Ball for um, Renegade Cynthia, but at the same time, you do not exactly have uh, a nice hitting everyone or hitting one strong op one opponent with a ghost type move. You don't exactly have a lot of free to play ghost type sync pairs with a ghost type sync move. Meanwhile, you know, Dragon type, you have Iris, you have. Cyrus Electric type you have how but then how does still not still does not have a six star EX form you have Pikachu You have N and again N came out quite Late or quite early this year April 22 to May 20 so probably a lot of you do not have N and then there's Marnie who who ended on October 5 there's classic LSA came out recently, but you know, Volkner has a very, very, very high electric type damage and special attack stat. And in terms of sync nuking, Volkner has higher sync nuke damage than, uh, than N. Than N. Sabrina and uh, New Year Lily, I just talked about them. And then there's New Year Lance, who unfortunately I have to rank low because he cannot raise his own critical hit rate. Everyone else here in this group can raise their critical hit rate. And as I was saying, critical hit rate is quite important in my eyes because if you have physical and special damage reduction, you know, free-to-play players... The easiest, the easiest way to get 100 points is to get physical and special damage reduction. You can only bypass this by having your critical hit rate up, hit a critical hit on the opponent. And Lance, unfortunately, as a solo Lance without any other critical hit rate buffs, would almost always not hit the opponent with a critical attack. So has to go down there and unless you have a, another sync pair that can buff his physical attack and special attack you would have to rely on his trainer move unparalleled strength was it which is a superior might sorry superior might which raises your attack stat special attack stat plus one plus one only and plus one accuracy you get to recover a move gauge three move gauge and then you get 33% recoil damage, which is honestly not that good. She also gets he also gets potion, but we have so many better flying types in the game. And most of them, a lot of flying types are in Spotlight Scout. So I'd rather get them in Spotlight Scout. Nate! Nate's probably better than New Year Lands in terms of bait buffing himself. Nate can cr increase his critical hit rate, hit the opponent, bypass the shields, and stuff. So even if with a very strong hyper beam, if it's cut into half the damage, well, Nate might be stronger. Hey guys, so earlier we talked about how good they are to scout as free-to-play sync players. Now, how good they are or how good are they at their maximum potential and with that said i have to come to this slide once again which i use in my sync pair analysis video so a two out of five renegade cynthia gets shadow ball super duper effective one she gets super duper effective one at two out of five which applies to both shadow ball and shadow force and then she gets her sync move multipliers, Brain Sync 5 and Smarty Pants at 3 out of 5. Brain Sync 5, the higher you, or rather, just having your special attack stat increased makes your sync move more powerful. Smarty Pants, the lower the opponent's special defense is, the stronger your sync move damage. They're unlocked at 3 out of 5, 
and this makes Renegade Cynthia's sync move damage really strong, not to mention she already has the built-in multiplayer for Ghost Zone as well as Ghost Zone itself will power up your sync move or ghost type sync move and then you can time your shadow force so that you can get that super effective up next multiplier if you do not have red to help with that one. New Year Volkner on the other hand gets ramming speed at 3 out of 5 gets a super effective up next after you use a sync move for the first time 3 out of 5 also allow unlocks thunder paralysis synergy too now sync move multipliers you get double down 3 shatting and static shock 5 at 3 out of 5 as well as a static shock 3 at 2 out of 5 but with Volkner you have a choice your choice is to go for either sync nook or attack DPS. You can get a uh, fast track 9, I think, by going for the ramming speed build. You can go for that. Or you go for the static shock build. You cannot unlock both to maximum potential. So it's your choice either a sync nuker build or a ramming skill build for Volkner but remember that his special attack stat is really high and uh, yeah very strong attack stat a very strong special attack stat I think I would build him up to be a ramming speed speed build because one ramming speed what am I saying one ramming speed or rather one discharge will be super effective up next, the next one will not be, the next one will be, the next one will not be, and so on and so forth. As well as, Volkner can raise his own uh, critical hit rate stat to maximum as well by getting some tiles on his sync grid. It's up to you. New Year's Sabrina. At 3 out of 5, gets quite some interesting multipliers which I have to refer to my slides once again. 3 out of 5, you get clear your mind MP refresh which basically is what is good about New Year Sabrina gets to make your sink pairs living zombies <laughs> or something like that never almost never dies as well as you get uh, premonition 2 recuperation 2 which after you use a sync move you get to recover HP you get team tough luck Every single time you get hit, you have a 50% chance of raising your defense stat or special defense stat or both. In fact, let me just show you the slide right now so that you can watch this with me. And then X special attack all gives you plus 3 special attack instead of plus 2 special attack. And so on and so forth. So you can have a clear your mind master healer too as well as a clear your mind MP refresh with 3 out of 5 build for Sabrina. And then with Lucas, get to have Draconic Power 2. We're talking about the, sync, the attack move multipliers and sync move multipliers. Super effective up next. Let me just check how you actually get that. Super effective up next is obtained by using uh super command has a 50 percent chance of applying the super effective up next to lucas or dialga after it uses a trainer move a trainer move 50 percent chance of giving you a super effective up next which can apply to both sync moves and attack moves he also gets inertia a very strong uh sync move multiplier Again, Dragon Zone, Draconic Sync 4, you have to have Dragon Zone for that one. Similar to, you know, built-in Ghost Zone, built-in Dragon Zone. Um, I think it's gonna be much easier to nook using Lucas than Renegade Cynthia. Just because, uh, you know, it's so, so easy to get that inertia. Super effective up next is obtained by using a trainer move. Meanwhile, Cynthia, the way to get super effective up next is to waste one shadow force. If you want it to be a sync move multiplier, you have to waste one shadow force for that one. 
In terms of DPS, on the other hand, Draconic Power 2 paired up with Dragon Zone gets you a very, very strong damage as well. So, if we were to rank these, how will they fare? Who gets way more powerful at 3 out of 5? Who is not that great at 3 out of 5? Let's see. Let's go back to our tier list. And let's see. At 3 out of 5, both Lucas and Renegade Cynthia get super strong with their sync damage and multipliers and everything. Um, by the way, New Year Lands also gets... Speaking of New Year Lands, guys, check this out. Check this... Wait, what the heck did I just do? What the heck did I just do? Check this out, guys. This was what my sync pair analysis videos were before. <laughs> on an Excel slide. On an Excel spreadsheet. So at 3 out of 5, you get carry on 1 on New Year Lands, which basically, if anyone in the field faints, you get to raise your attack stat. Get Refreshing Rain 1. If it's raining, you get to recover HP when you attack. Raging Rain powers up damage when it's raining. Pressure Cooker, Sink Quickening. Recover 1 move gauge. Um, shower Power 5 is a 2 out of 5. Strengthens your Sink move damage. And then so on and so forth, as you can see over here. Unfortunately, as I was saying, unless, unless, unless you have a critical hit rate buffer, you know, Lance cannot attack the opponent with a critical hit. And if you do not attack the opponent with a critical hit, if you have physical and special, um, physical damage reduction and special damage reduction, it will cut the damage by half. So, and you know, even with the increases and everything, you're still down here. You're still down here. Very strong, but it's so hard to set up lands. It will take a lot of time, turns to set up lands, even if it's 3 out of 5. You need to either sacrifice your HP or just have sync pairs in the field faint or have another sync pair raise your stats but without those sync pairs building him up by his own is gonna be difficult difficult meanwhile let's look at her count his counterpart new year lily at three out of five new year lily gets leech life master healer one I will ignore interference in immunity. Really cure if you uh, if the opponent misses, you get to recover HP. Fail forward if the opponent misses, you get to recover HP. Slippery slope nine raises your ev evasiveness if the opponent misses, and so on and so forth. I think Lily is much better at three out of five, but you do not don't exactly expect her to deal. You know, to be your main attacker. But if you want her to be your main attacker, yes, you probably can. At the same time, you know, uh, you're raising your evasiveness stat to maximum. It's possible that Lily will become something like um, Sycamore. Infinite recovery. Unfortunately for Lily, she cannot raise her own defenses. You can raise your evasiveness, you cannot raise your defenses. That means once you get, you know, once you keep the battle extending, going on, going on, the opponent will eventually get sync buff, add up to another sync buff, add up to another sync buff, and then you don't have enough defenses to tank those attacks, and eventually Lily will faint. You know, even with the best RNG, you'll get hit by a super strong sync move. And eventually, Lily will faint. Even with Team Sync regen, which you re regain HP, you know, even at full HP, your defense stat is very low. So, eventually, it's going to go down. But, but as a support unit, 
as a you can with proper RNG, probably not 2,000 points. Probably can if you are really, really lucky and find the perfect parameters. Probably can solo a stage. I'll put you somewhere in number four first. Uh, meanwhile, um, Sabrina over here can recover HP. Um, she can increase her defenses. Let me just check right now. Is Sabrina the one that can increase defenses? Let me just backtrack over here. Team Tough Luck 4 has a 50% chance of raising the defense or special defense or both when you get hit by an attack move. So technically, Sabrina can raise quite a lot of stats. She can raise critical hit rate. She can give everyone special moves up next. She can raise everyone's special attack stat. She can raise everyone's defenses. She can recover. She can heal. She can give ev uh, two sync pairs, at least two sync pairs, an endure effect. Now, as a primary attacker, you cannot expect much from Sabrina, but. Keeping the battle long, you'll be able to survive more with Sabrina because she's uh, designed to be somewhere long battles. Sabrina is designed for long battles. The longer the battle, the more she'll excel. So in terms of longer battles, I would probably rate Sabrina at a higher level. While on ter in terms of shorter battles, I would rate New Year Lily at a shorter, at a, you know, inverse them. But, you know, uh, defense and special defense is not probability, it's permanent, it's there. Meanwhile, evasiveness is probability-based. So, if the opponent hits you, that's, that's bad. If you, the opponent misses, that's good. It's probability, accuracy, random, RNG. So, for the RNG factor, I'll rate New Year Lily a little bit less than Sabrina. Meanwhile, we have New Year Volkner, as I earlier was saying. Very, very strong special attack stat, reaching 500 something if you have 6 star EXed him. And you can raise, you can build him up to be a ramming speed build or a sync nuke build. Either way, he's a strong, strong unit. And if you pair him up with other sync pairs, he's just gonna get better. He can raise. His critical hit rate to maximum at 3 out of 5 because of his uh, multi or rather his grid over here, which I'll show you guys right now. At 3 out of 5, you can get. Where is it? No, at 2 out of 5, you get super crit 9. If you hit the enemy with a special attack, you raise your critical hit, or if a super effective attack. You get to raise your critical hit rate to max or to by one eventually until it's maxed. So again, New Year Lands cannot raise his own crit stat. And that is why I'm ranking New Year Lands very low in this list. Because critical hit rate, if it's not good before, it's vital for me in battles. It's very much vital. Every single one of my champion stadium runs i have to have someone to raise my critical stat if you're using sycamore one versus three or something it's gonna be difficult because you're not raising the your critical hit rate so you know if you want to use sycamore i pair him up with a critical hit rate buffer and an attack buffer much better so volkner can raise his critical hit rate can aoe the opponents i think volkner is a little bit higher than Sabrina for this regard. Just because, you know, dish out damage, dish out damage, and you can land electric terrain, you can do stuff like that. So, just for that, I'll rank it like this. Or, something like this, tied up. It's, go it's honestly hard to, 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 you know, rank support units, but definitely, New Year Lily is a huge step up above New Year Lance. While Lucas and uh, 
Renegade Cynthia is arguable. It's how you would rank them is completely up to you. I'm gonna ig ignore the possibility of Cyrus because probably at 3 out of 5, you're, you don't care that Cyrus is arriving. You're gonna scout anyway. And in terms of survivability, guys, in terms of survivability, I would rank her higher because... She can disappear from the field. If you disappear, you get to avoid the enemy attacks. Lucas, on the other hand, it's always there on the field. In terms of survivability, Lance can probably go up as well because he has bounce. But then, again, you're not increasing your critical hit rate there. But I think he has Dire Rain. Let, let me check, guys. Dire Rain... Dire Rain. I think I saw that. Bounce Dire Rain. Critical hits land more easily when an attack move is used when the weather is rainy. Technically, you're not raising your critical hit rate here. It's just higher possibility of landing a critical hit if it's raining. So, that's, that's not... I mean, who uses lands for bounce? I know you guys are scouting for lands... Using lands for hyper beam, not bounce. So, that's gonna be my ranking for these guys. Um, uh, Cynthia there because Master Fair support everyone. Survivability of Shadow Force. Then Lucas next from him or from her. And Sabrina and... Uh, Volkner are somewhere equal ground, probably like this, probably like this. It's kind of hard to distinguish distinguish the two. New Year Lily is honestly quite high in my list right now, but if you compare New Year Lily with Sabrina, I think Sabrina excels a little bit more than New Year Lily because New Year Lily has a lot to do with chance. Of evading the enemy attacks but really get to recover a lot of HP with leech life but in terms of long battles Sabrina will probably last longer than New Year Lily or something you know this is all theory right now we haven't used these sync pairs yet they have not yet come out so what I can say right now is from looking New Year Lily is a New Year Lance is from experience Everyone else is from theory. But as of the moment, this is how I would rate them at 3 out of 5. At their full potential. And now for the last one, guys. This is Team Synergy. How these sync pairs actually help the team out and stuff. I know it might not be a fair comparison having, you know, strikers, tech units together with supports here because supports will definitely excel better but you know these guys can actually help the team except for one except for this guy Lance can technically do nothing <laughs> he cannot support the team meanwhile we have Sabrina and New Year Lily I'll put them first we have these two with their zones or actually, these three with their zones. So, here we go. Volkner can set up electric terrain. Thing is, you can only set up electric terrain once. And you know, electric terrain helps your electric type attacks get more powerful. He can set up electric terrain upon sync. And once that is done, once electric terrain fades, it's gone. You don't have, you cannot help other sync pairs anymore. So with that said, I'm putting you a little bit lower than the others. Meanwhile, we have Lucas and um, Renegade Cynthia over here. If I check, they get their MP refreshes. Let me check Sabrina. Her MP refresh with, um, where is it? Wait, no, 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 not, not this guy. Not this one. 
Lucas gets MP refresh at 3 out of 5 Dragon Wish. Meanwhile, Cynthia gets Dragon Wish MP, or rather, Ghost Wish MP refresh also at 3 out of 5. So technically, they are equal. They're equal. But, but guys, remember that, um, Remember that this one, uh, Renegade Cynthia, is a Master Fair. And Master Fairs have this called Flag Bearer Master Passive Skill, which raises the special attack and attack stats or attack damage of your Saint Fairs as well as raises your defense and special defense when hit by a, a normal attack of the opponent. So for that reason, you go higher than Lucas because both of you have MP refreshes for your whatsoever things. And then for Sabrina and Lily. Again, Sabrina can raise her own... Wait, is it her own or everyone's defense stats? Let me just check once again. Team Tough Luck. No! She can raise everyone. She can raise everyone's defense or special defense or both. And Lily can only raise her, or rather, can raise um, evasive stat of everyone. Brandon, she can give everyone regen, but at the same time, healing is much better than regen. Sabrina can also give everyone special moves up next. And that's why I think that this is the order. No, I think this is a fact. I think this is the best way to sort these out on a support level basis. So Lance can technically do nothing. He relies on Rain, which another Sync Fair has to do for him. Volkner can set up Electric Terrain only by Sync Move and only once. Um, Lucas can set up Dragon Wish. Dragon Zone with an MP refresh. Meanwhile, Cynthia can set up Ghost Zone, but at the same time, she has this Master Passive skill. And then, New Year Lily has uh, Team Sync Region, gives everyone region effect, increase everyone's evasiveness, and it's quite nice. Then we have Sabrina, who can raise everyone's defense, special defense, can give everyone um, special moves up next, and then can give uh, everyone plus four or plus six special attack stat, and can recover and give everyone, or at least two sync pairs at least, uh, endure effect. And that's how we would rate them. This is completely my uh, thing now, my opinion, my favorite. Who am I most excited to scout for as of the moment? As of the moment, what are my priorities? Well, I'm most excited for one sync pair, which is this guy because of his outfit. But my priority is scouting for this as quickly as possible because, you know, it's the end of the year, she comes out before the year ends, and as you might know, I have a Sync Pair Dex project, which compiles every single Sync Pair, their voices, their animations. I have to get the video out to you guys as quickly as possible. And so I will rate Cynthia as my objective right now. Get Cynthia first and foremost, get her as quickly as possible. Then after Cynthia, we have Volkner on January 1. Actually, these two are coming out on January 1. But I would put Volkner first over Sabrina. Because I like Volkner. And then we have him coming out a little bit later. I think January 13 or something like that. It's not gonna happen very quickly. And then, you know, these two... I have them at 3 out of 5 already, so they're not exactly in my priority list. In fact, I'll put them like this right now because 
already have them. But I would love to get them at 5 out of 5. And if I were you, if I were you, this is the order that I would scout. If I were, uh, you know, if, if you guys are worried who to scout for, first, how many gems would you have remaining and stuff? Let me put these guys back first. Well, as you might know, this and this are gonna stay until the end of February. So, um, if you were to scout or if you were to wait, that is fine because there's gonna, they're gonna be available until a long long time if you were to scout for one sing pair right now i would highly highly recommend you to scout for new year lily and probably ignore new year lands because honestly there are better flying types but you know they share the same banner so honestly it's something like this but i'd rather you get new year lily because She's really good. She's really good. But at the same time, you have these. And uh, probably Sabrina is better than New Year Lily right now. And depending on how many support units you have, depending on how many electric units you have, you might want to scout for Volkner or not. I would put Volkner up there. But in terms of usefulness or something it can either go this way or this way for you guys it can go this way or this way so it's either you want to scout for Volkner but or Sabrina but New Year Lily I think is top two and the other one of the New Year's is gonna be uh, top three for me in terms of which sync pair you want to scout for. Uh, again, you have to. You can wait until the next data mine to see if Cynthia and Dialga, or, or rather Lucas, is worth it to scout for or not. There's no rush because their banners are gonna end for quite a long time and lands. Well, if you're scouting for the New Year Lily banner, hope that you get Lily. If you get lands, well, do get New Year Lily as well. Because she's get she's good even at one out of five. And with that said, I'm done. I'm done. I don't know what else to tell you guys. If you enjoyed this tier list video, this is my very first one. Let me know how I did and how I can improve these types of videos. But that is what I can think of at the moment. Give me some more ideas as to who I can rank and everything. I hope you enjoyed this. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. Let me know in the comments if you didn't. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you to my awesome members of my channel. Thank you for all your support. I've been shafted on Sonia and your support is very much appreciated. Even though some of you are teasing my scouts, damn it. I hate my scouts on Sonia. So bad. I hope. Cynthia will be kind to me. Just one copy and I'll... Depends. Depends if I'll candy her immediately. But I've saved up my candy for Classic Alessa and I'm giving it to Cynthia instead. So, thank you my awesome members. Shadow Phil, Marcella, uh, John9019, Poplio Gaming, Roy Acker... Roy, wait, wait, wait. Alcin... John9019, Poplio Gaming, Roy Mustango, Luca Midi, Arima Kose, Popwat, Visual Chromedom, Sasri Ambryon, Lou Rose, and uh, Ranger. Thank you for your support. Did I say Marcel? I think so. And if you want to help me out, join them, support a good cause, click on the join button because, you know, I'm working very, very hard for you guys in terms of these videos in fact i cons i want to consider taking a break after this i want to stream some other games but i'm running out of time the next few days are going to be torturous for me as well so that's it that's it for my first tier list video i will see you 
in the next video. This has been Sol, also known as S Feel Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. The artist team's called Grunt. See you in the next one. Right.